Hi, welcome to AFTV. I've got Turkish with me. We've just beaten RC Lons 6 0 at the Emirates in the Champions League. Qualified Turkish. It's, it's done. Job done. That's it. Job done. That's that's all I've come to say, really. We can really? wrap it up here. Because <laughs> the real Champions League football starts in February, or is it March now? I think it's March. But yeah. it is what it is. Now, when we saw our group, we said to ourselves, we've got a to topic. And, and we've done it. Game week five done. Game week six now in the Champions League. We can mix it up a little bit, maybe give Ramsdale his. His final hurrah, <laughs> um, which it seems likely to be because um, it's all Premier League now from now until New Year. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to get into the, the whole rounds of ride debate because no, we've no, gone no. through that all that all already. But for you then, just what you've seen today, you've constantly gone on about fluidity and, and back and forth. It's not the same as last mm. season, but you still, are you starting to finally see something? It might be coming towards, you know, this Christmas break. Do you believe it will from this? Or are you looking at it as like, listen, it's RC Lons, a competition it's been weak in the Champions League, so I can't take too much from nah, it. No, a lot of people, you know what I want to say? A lot of people acted like I was mad saying they're certain with the fluidity. That's but good. in the last press conference, Arteta was asked himself why Arsenal haven't been as fluid this season. Yeah. So there's obviously something there. But I also mentioned a couple of weeks ago that I don't care what it is anymore. We're top of the league now. We're through in the Champions League. If come May, this brings us, you know, the Premier League or the Champions League or both. Um, oh, wow. then, yeah, then, <laughs> then I don't care how we do it. You know, whether we control our way to major trophies or, or excite our way to major trophies, either way, major trophies is the end goal. Mm. So it is what it is in the Champions League this year. Funnily enough, when compared to recent seasons, in recent seasons, you know, we, we've been much better in the league than in the Europa League. Mm. This time around, it feels like we're a lot more fluid in the Champions League, yeah. probably because defensively teams set up a lot different. Saka spoke 100%. recently about not being double, well, being double teamed a hell of a lot in, in the Premier League, him and Martinelli. And I think Arteta mentioned, or what someone mentioned, that in Europe it's not the same. And, yeah. and I think that's why we've seen a 4 0 against PSV. We've seen a 6 against Lons tonight. We've just got more room to flex. And, and these players last season, when they were allowed to flex, they flexed quite well. True. Do, do you prefer this, though, pragma pragmatic approach from Arsenal compared? I know we all like fluid football, but do you like the way Arteta, I don't know if he's doing it on purpose, but is going away in, the, in this sense come this season? Because you know, in the league, has been like this, quite pragmatic, not as, not as fluid, but might be building for something coming further down the line in the latter stage of the season. And for the Champions League, I know we're more fluid, but do you prefer it or would you like to have seen us be a bit more fluid throughout? I prefer seeing us top of the league and through in the Champions League. That's all. I, I don't care how it happens. Cool. That's what it is now. I can talk about concerns. I can say I want to see us more fluid, but I don't care. We are top. Mm. And that's what, it, that, that's what we need to focus on because over the years, since I've been on YouTube as well, and with Arsenal, you know, being dragged through the mud under the you know, final years of Wenger and under Kronkays and whatnot, the love of the game and, and the club, you know, it, we became very disconnected. Amen. And at times, man, forgot what it was to be a football fan mm. because I was so worried about how much can this club spend? Like, are they really ambitious enough? Yeah. Now we're back at a place where we can enjoy the, you know, enjoy the football week in, week out. Maybe not because it's the most exciting, but because we're top of the league or we're yeah. fighting for sighting, we're fighting for majors Challenge again. Challenge it again, yeah, yeah. So it's about being a football fan again, you know, and come May, then ask me, do I prefer this approach? Because if come May it gives us sighting, then of course I prefer this <laughs> approach. But if come <laughs> May it doesn't, then we've got a discussion to, to have. Yeah, but at this moment in time, we're top in the league, through in the Champions League. We move into a hectic December where come New Year, if we're still... In and around it that look, top spot, we're serious. looking in a very good position. Talk about discussions to have. Let's have discussion, have verts, mm -hmm. and to talk about, you know, him today. I was at Brentford, scored that winning goal. Stricto said, you know, we're near Heathrow, he's landed. Yeah. It's been like, after today's performance, he, he oh, listen, there's still a long way to go, but it's good to see back-to-back -back performances, him, him shining. Yeah, I wouldn't say he, he, his performance was shining against Brentford because he... he it was the winner he got. Yeah. But I think this was his best performance for Arsenal. And yeah. again, I'm going to caveat that by saying it's still not enough, but it's okay. headed in the right direction. I think today he was quite good. I think he was quite good. He showed good bits, um, good touches on the ball. He kept the ball moving. He had a few skills here and there. And he was, you know, his ever physical self, I guess, which is something we've become more used to. And he got a goal. So I've I've saw a better Havertz today than I've seen throughout this season so far, and we hope that he continues. What more are you? Sorry, on. sorry, Craig, What more are you looking to see? Because I I understand quite good, but I understand if you said because of your position, mm. but you didn't you didn't really say that. You just said his performance was quite good instead of not the opposition he's playing against. Because I can understand if he was like, we can kind of look past that, but you don't think his performance? You thought his performance was just quite good. It was, but that's good though. I mean, what well, you want me to do backflips? No. 
<laughs> my name's not Cecil G, bro. Yeah, I'm Turkish. So I've got, re- I'm balanced. You can yeah. try. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. The, the whole set will be, will come down, my bro. Um, no, nah, it was quite good. Oh, and I know cool. there's a lot of snowflakes out there that will be like, oh, Turkish doesn't want to give him praise. That is praise. No, no, and for you. That's yeah, quite yeah. good. He was quite good. He was, like, he was his best performance of the season. So hopefully he builds on it. And some of the goals we scored, I mean, that Jesus one. What's your favourite out of the six? Jesus was probably the most eye catching, but my favorite is Martinelli's. Martinelli's my guy, probably my favorite player of the lot. If I had to pick, it was out of him and Saliva. Yeah. And he needed a goal. Mm. And I think the way he took his goal was sublime. Um, in between two defenders, bent it around, keeper had no chance. And hopefully, similar to Havertz in a different way, because Martinelli's been good this mm. season, quite good. We want to see better <laughs> because last season he was very good. So hopefully, this goal kind of kicks him on into what is going to be. It could be a season defining December with the amount of games being played.